Alright, what's up everyone? Scorcher Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelanga Flora 2. But yeah, today we're gonna take a look at the HRG Scorcher, and I'm just gonna give my opinions on it, and we shall go from there. But yeah, I'm obviously gonna be playing on the map called Hellmark Station, because... I mean, despite this update not having that much in it, yeah, the map is actually cool. I mean, I just love its atmosphere and detailing. a uh, boy. Oh god, it was just nice. And this is even nicer because the firebug, in my eyes, yeah, he's just a trash clearing freaking machine. But I mean, with the HRG Scorcher, yeah, I just don't feel like you're, you can clear trash all that much. But yeah, I did do some testing, and yep, the Scorcher actually does kill big things very fast. I mean, granted, it's a 1v1, you know, you against a flashbound, because if there's multiple flashbounds and you know trash next to you, yeah, that Scorcher is pretty, pretty trash. Okay, I'm just getting bullied here, nice. Okay. Go away, please. But yeah, I did try the Scorcher on some multiplayer, and yep, that's where that weapon doesn't shine all that much. A uh, boy. But yeah, like I said, it is extremely good if you are consistent at headshots. You know, for big Zeds, but it's definitely quite weak if you can't headshot or, you know, Zeds are just punching you from behind. And you just can't even do anything. But yeah, personally for me, yeah, the Scorcher is not a weapon that I'm gonna be using anytime soon. But yeah, I mean, this map, oh my freaking Jesus, it just looks so cool. I mean, even if this map was just, you know, without these hellish things, it would have been, you know, pretty alright. But I mean, we got, you know, this stuff. We got burn effect. Oh, rest in pieces, blood. But yeah, I mean, these things, yeah, I actually thought they were gonna be, you know, teleporters, but... Yep, sadly, they're just Zed spawns. But yeah, just take a good look at this map. It's just so freaking cool. Oh, and we got a bunch of dudes hanging over here. Well, that's not nice. Logan Paul, where are you at? But yeah, this is going to be the HRG Scorcher. And yeah, this thing's gonna be costing you 1,000 Dosh. And the only problem I have, you know, with it costing that much is that it doesn't even have, like, that much ammunition. I mean, 29. I mean, that's barely anything. But yeah, the primary fire, yeah, it does shoot out, you know, a projectile. They just you know, burns things and kills them. But, I mean, you do have to be accurate with it, because otherwise it's not gonna be doing anything. Eh, uh, boy. Okay, I thought I just, like, saw a stalker, but apparently not. Okay, at least you can spam it in slow motion. That's kinda cool. Okay, come on. Stupid Edars. Didn't even kill him. Eh, uh, boy. But, yeah, personally, yeah, I just don't see this weapon fitting for the firebug all that much. I mean, that could be just me, or I'm just, like, missing something very freaking obvious. Because, like I said, yeah, for me, the Firebug, he is just a trash-clearing machine. And, you know, just, like, a master of... You know, just raging everything. I mean, if you actually want to, you know, take down big Zeds, yeah, you do have stuff like... What's it called? The Helios Rifle, you got stuff like the, the Huss Cannon. So, yeah, for me, the Scorcher, yeah, it's just... just whatever. I mean, look at this, I'm just, like, already running out of ammo. And I'm just playing solo here. Yeah, boy. Okay, I do have to, like, conserve some ammo, because otherwise... Yeah, who's gonna be killing the Skrook? Okay, what the hell are your plans? Okay, apparently a lot of things. Let me just run away really quick. Uh, boy. Okay, I just have to stop saying freaking boy, because... Yeah, everything I do, I just say boy. But yeah, I mean, another thing with this weapon, it does feel kind of inconsistent in what it does. Okay, husky husk, what are you gonna do? Okay, you're just mad for some reason. Okay, okay. Okay, Idar is gonna kill you with a 9mm, and let's see the true test for the Scorcher. And yep, headshot 1, and yeah boy, headshot 2. And this is what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna be fully upgrading this thing, and we're gonna be seeing its full potential. Well then, here we go, just gonna upgrade it once, because that's all the money I currently have. So you did see the projectile on the Skrook, and it did a lot of damage. And we're just gonna demonstrate that again. Okay, I just like missed, because my man went sideways. So yeah, projectiles are definitely quite strong, but do actually keep in mind that you have to shoot directly at the head, because if you just like miss a little bit, yep, it's not gonna register, and you're just gonna look like an idiot with a reskin in hand. Okay, what actually happens if you shoot on top, or it just does ground for? Nice. Oh, we're getting some fleshy points. Not sure exactly where they are. Okay, here we have a quarter point. Okay, and here we go, one headshot for you, one headshot for you. Okay, this dude died one shot, whereas the other one... Yeah, he's still alive with... 
you know, my projectile in his head. Oh, and I think we got an actual flash bond over here, and I just, like, missed him. Because he's all over the place. Okay, you are gonna die. Okay, just gonna get a bit of distance, and of course he's gonna do the most... How should I say? Damage-dealing attack. But did I kill him? See, look, it's just inconsistent. I just, like, fired through him a bunch. So, yeah, this thing, for me, personally, it's just, yeah, not worth the price, if that makes sense. I mean, if I just, like, played this weapon 24-7, yeah, I would get more consistent with those headshots, because it does have, you know, bullet drop. So, yeah, you do have to get used to that. Okay, I didn't actually say boy. I'm proud. Nice. Well, then, right here is I'm just gonna throw you some good old-fashioned Molotovs. Yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, if this thing actually shot out pellets, yeah, it would have been a bit more useful, I feel. But I mean, that could be just me. You guys can have your own opinions on this weapon. Okay, here we go. Now it's a tier 5 Scorcher. And you can still pair it with, I don't know, a microwave or a Usk Cannon. Okay, I'm just gonna pick the microwave because why the hell not? But yeah, I mean, if this thing was like a tier 2 weapon, I would completely understand. But I mean, keeping this thing at tier 3, it's just a little bit underwhelming for that. You know, tier. Okay, Spooder, obviously, you're gonna be coming from behind. No one likes you, man. Okay, I'm just gonna do some ground fire there. Because why not? Oh, I can actually do this. I mean, is it even worth it, though? Probably not. Oh, we got a fleshy punt. Oh, my God. Oh, can I actually shoot him? I mean, he's dead now. But yeah, as you would imagine, this thing actually performs quite well at tier 5. But before that, it's just not worth it, man, I feel. Okay, let's just do some good old-fashioned ground fire. Here we go, and of course a siren right behind it. Eh? Okay, one shot's a quarter pound on solo, so that's quite cool. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's a Faro fidget spinner. I mean, a dead one, still. Oh, blot. And of course, it just like puked my ass, come on. Oh, usk. Got him. Would that just like one shot? Okay. Okay, is it gonna one shot you? Yep, it is gonna one shot this Craig. Well, yep, tier 5. HRG Scorcher is the way to go. I mean, to be fair, on multiplayer, I didn't actually test out, you know, the tier 5 one. I only made it to tier 4. And even for multiplayer, tier 4 was performing quite well. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for the memes. Okay, fast reload and my man's... Okay, I'm just gonna have to whip out this thing because... Wait, what? Yep, that's all leg if I've ever seen one. But yeah, these like obelisk things. Kind of cool that it's unique on this map. You know, just something different. Okay, Skrook is Skrook. Okay, I just like missed his head, but no freaking worries. Oh, I can just like do this now because it's slow motion time. But did I miss? Okay, I swear to God that actually went through him. Okay, can you just like die? But yeah, you did see its potential. It can one shot or on multiplayer, yeah, it can two shot or three shot a flesh pound. If you have it on tier 5. Because if it's not gonna be tier 5, yeah, I just don't know. Doesn't feel worth over the what's it called? Dragon's breath. Okay, only got like one freaking ammo for that one. So I'm just gonna be using the microwave and we're gonna be one shotting that husk. Yep, husk exactly, Skrook. In just a couple of seconds. Okay, I do have to, like, kill one, because there is multiple of you. Ah, uh, boy. I mean, a lot of people don't like the microwave, but I still think it's quite freaking nice. Okay, can I just leave that Skrake alive? Here we go, and of course I get rudely interrupted by a yeah boy a Stalker. Dude, I just can't see her freaking head. Okay, can I spin the weapon and just, like, one-shot kill him? Yes, I can. So, yeah, you do have to be precise. And headshots are gonna be happening. I mean, I just don't know about you guys, but this weapon... I don't know. Personally, I don't think it feels like it should one shot or two shot a Skrake, because it's just a little freaking flare gun. Oh, you can actually have the Helios rifle with the Scorcher, didn't even see that. Oh, and here we go, Helios rifle paired with the Scorcher. Well then, here we go, let's see what the Scorcher is gonna be doing for the boss. Oh, Patriarch. How's it hanging? Yep, I still didn't get the Matriarch yet, so rest in pieces for that one. Okay, I don't even know where the hell he is. Nope, he's up there, apparently. Oh, and this thing is... Yeah, quite awkward for him. Oh, he's just got a minigun out. Oh, is this like a dead end? Well, why is this a dead end? Okay. Oh, he's doing, like, decent damage to him. Okay, you just do that. You just miss your shot. Don't really care. Yo, this thing's actually doing bits. 
Like, how did you hit me there? Okay, this is actually cool. You can actually see where the hell he's gonna be going when you have that flare on him. Okay, you guys are actually annoying. Get killed. And yeah, that's just like the healiest rifle compared to this thing. Okay, you know what? I'm actually just going to activate the obelisk and kill the boss. Okay, I don't even... Oh, he's right here. No thanks. Okay, can't even activate the obelisk because my man's literally right behind. Okay, can I do like some decent damage to him? I mean, kind of. I mean, with the Helios rifle, you would probably be already dead, to be honest. But yeah, I do believe the only saving grace for the Scorcher is that it weighs practically nothing. Okay, Clots, get away from me, please. Okay, this map has a lot of, you know, straight, straight ways. But you can still outrun the Patriarch. I mean, this is just like case in point. Yep, Patriarch is a lot easier than Hans. Oh, and there he is. Yeah, thanks, man, for those. Oh, and now he's running sideways. Wait, can I actually shoot through this, I wonder? I mean, I'm not gonna try, because that minigun is definitely not good for my health. Okay, he just, like, missed, I think. Okay, I don't have, like, that much ammunition, but I got infinite now. Oh, he's burning up. I mean, I don't know what his plans are. Well, then, bloat. Yeah, you're more of a boss than a yeah, boy, a patriarch. Dude, I can't remember the last time the patriarch actually had all his four heal phases. Or should I say all his three? But yeah, this is what I mean. Fair enough, it's, you know, the boss wave, so I can get, like, ammunition practically everywhere. But if this wasn't the boss wave, yeah, there wouldn't be, like, that much ammunition. Okay, that was, like, an overshot. Oh, and now he's getting giga close. Okay, just gonna keep a little bit of distance, because I do have to respect him a little bit, at least. Damn I mean, it, he's still a bad boss, no matter how you look at it. Okay, keep on running, keep on running. His machine gun is gonna miss, because I just, like, went behind a local corner. I mean, the Helios rifle is literally doing the same amounts of damage. Ooh, what's he doing? Oh, the most useless attack he has. Okay, let's just finish him off with the Scorcher, I guess. Okay, some ground fire for you. Doing no damage, pretty much. I mean, he's still burnt, and I got, like, two achievements, nice. So, yeah, HRG Scorcher, is this thing worth having? Yeah, currently, for me personally, not really. But, yeah, do keep in mind, this is only beta 1, and stuff can change in beta 2 and the final release. But, yeah, do let me know in the comments on what you guys think about the HRG Scorcher. And with that being said, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.